Many Montana farmers look to their land as a way to increase crop production. But 50 years ago, Howard Bailey had another vision for his farm. My dad could just visualize the, the lay of the coulee there. And he thought that was just perfect for a reservoir to be put in there. It took Howard two years using his own money and labor to build his dream reservoir. But this avid outdoorsman and entertainer knew it would be a great place for everyone to fish. He just had a dream that would be open to the public and he loved to entertain. He was always down there at the reservoir talking to the people that would come down to the reservoir from all over. After Howard died in 1992, the family continued to maintain public access. But after more than 50 years of private management, Howard's family decided it was time to preserve Bailey's Reservoir for future generations. They wanted it to go to, to somebody that would keep carrying on what, 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 their, you know, what, what Howard started back in the 1960s, which was allow a place for people to, to enjoy outdoor recreational opportunities. Fish, Wildlife and Parks recently acquired Bailey's Reservoir, which through the years has been a place for families and kids to get hooked on fishing. If we had lost that fishery, we'd have lost the fishery for families and for people to get warm water fish, and it's easily accessible. And now, Howard Bailey's vision is everyone's oasis on the prairie to share. Winston Greeley, Adamung Montana's Fish, Wildlife, and Parks.